We're back looking at the picture toolbar, and we've got this magic wand here we we're looking at. Clicking the down arrow opens up another toolbar. This here is the graphic filter. And there's a variety of different filters on here. Let's take a look at some of them, like invert. Inverts it to the negative image. Maybe if you had an old film camera and you scanned in the negative, you'd click the invert and you'd see what the picture should look like. We also have one here called relief. If we look at that, we're given some options of angles of lighting. We can do it from the upper left hand corner, left middle, lower right hand corner. And notice how the light changes from the lower left to the lower right corner. Or from the above to the below. And that's how our picture would look. Another one here, mosaic. Can make our picture pixelated. Let's take this up a little more, maybe to 11. on both sides 11 clicking OK and we can see how our picture is now pixelated going back and some of these you can do multiple filters let's say we take this charcoal sketch there's one time if I click it again it puts the filter on over itself and you can get a pretty odd looking sketch let's go back to what we started with. The graphics mode drop down here, we can change our picture to grayscale, to black and white, and we can also make this a watermark. Going back to the default. This next icon, the color, this gives us the red, green, blue, as well as the brightness, contrast, and gamma. These are all pretty standard. Now, the interesting thing about this is you, you start with zero. But if we make the red 100%, that's as high as it can go. All the red going to zero is where we started with. And we can also go to negative 100, which takes all the red out of the picture. So if you wanted only blue, you'd go negative 100, negative 100 for green. And now only the blue colors show. Everything is blue. And we can intensify this by putting this at a 100%. And all you see is blue. So that doesn't make any sense at all. Making this back to zero. And you can do the same with the contrast. So you can have some fun with the colors and the brightness. Our next icon is this transparency starts at zero, which makes this completely visible and going up to 100% makes this completely invisible. So if we make this about 85%, it's kind of faint, almost like the watermark that we saw back here in the graphics mode. But the graphics mode watermark actually changes the contrast as well. So this is just going with the transparency of the graphic. And these last two we've already kind of looked at a little bit. It's flip horizontally, flip vertically. They're pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm.